part of Arizona immigration law. A federal judge today blocked some of the toughest provisions in the Arizona immigration law, putting a hole in the state's attempt to have local police enforce federal immigration policy. A federal judge on Wednesday blocked some of the toughest provisions in the Arizona immigration law, putting on hold the state's attempt to have local police enforce federal immigration policy. So that's kind of like saying local police, if they catch somebody committing a federal crime, you're not supposed to arrest them. This is the lawlessness, the criminality. Do you understand what it means to have a criminal, rogue government? None of us are safe. It's like Russia or China or other tyrannies. Do you know what this means? Though the rest of the law is still to get into effect Thursday, the partial section of SB 1070 means Arizona for the time being will not be able to require police officers to determine the immigration status of anyone they stop or arrest. So we'll uh, talk more about this coming up. But right now, let's go back to your calls. Matt, just talk to Matt. David in Virginia, you're on the air. Hi, Alex. Good to see you. A little context here. Um, I also am a radio guy. do middays on a Cox radio station in Richmond, Virginia. Uh, started when I was 21 right out of UNC Chapel Hill uh, like you. I cannot believe you were prescient enough at the age of 21 to figure this out when nobody was talking about it. A lot of my colleagues uh, look to you as sort of like the guy on high uh, as opposed to maybe a rush uh, whom they view as kind of pompous and a blowhard. Having said that, um, here are two quick questions. If you're a contrarian, could anybody make the case that because the whole world is saying uh, you know, Obama needs something, you know, around a 9-11 sort of theme in order to save himself. Every newspaper, everywhere around the world, is there any chance, speaking from a contrarian standpoint, as people do vis-a-vis -vis the stock market, that it might not happen because of that? Well, it, it, it might not happen if they think they're going to get caught doing it, and if they know enough people are aware of false flag terror, stage terror, self-inflicted wounds. Uh, but it's part of their arrogance that when... All these government officials, people like Gary Hart and others say, the government stages terror attacks. You better do what we say, Iran. We'll stage one and attack you. You know, he wrote a public letter saying that three years ago. They think you're so stupid that they operate right out in the open. I was smart enough at age 21 to already be on air, not because I was that smart, but because I happened to read nonfiction history for entertainment from about the age of 12. And so if you'd studied Hitler, Stalin, Mao, Julius Caesar, you knew what you were seeing. Those that don't know history are doomed to repeat it. I have read the classic uh, historical works, Rise and Decline of Roman Empire, Gibbon, and others, Shearer's Rise and Fall of the Third Reich, Hobel's Order of the Death's Head, and others. So I knew exactly what was going on. And then by the time I was 21, I'd already started going to the library and reading legislation, government documents. Uh, and I saw all these world leaders admitting world government was being established. Then I'd turn on CNN. They'd say, dangerous terrorist, talk about world government. And I said, boy, I better get on air. Uh, and then in 95, I was watching right when I got on air, newscasts out of Oklahoma that local patriots were playing on Access TV uh, where they were removing the bombs and it had been bombs inside. So, and I saw Clinton come out and demonize patriots with it. I mean, it was, it was, it was a Reichstag event. I knew Hitler firebombed the Capitol. I knew Clinton had blown up Oklahoma City. And so, I mean, it's just history. If you know history, you already know humans do the same things over and over again. Anything else, uh, David? Yeah, one more question here. Um, do you think this Gulf oil thing really is over. I mean, I kind of had the feeling, you know, from the get-go, it was going to be this mega event, and I'm skeptical of the fact that it really is, quote-unquote, well, over. Well, I'm it's glad you say that. Uh, in the BBC, the CEO of BP says it's probably not over. In fact, I've got that in my stack. Let me try to dig that out. We'll be right back. Thousands of Americans are facing evacuation. If you or any of your loved ones might need to evacuate, you must do it yourselves. Please don't procrastinate until they do it for you. Remember the terrible conditions of those that didn't get out for Katrina. Go right now to eFoodsDirect.com slash Alex or call 800-409-5633 for information on the new evacuation pack. It contains two weeks of delicious, easy-to-fix food along with the equipment to prepare it. It's packed in a rugged, heavy-duty tote for transport. Evacuations are looming with the storms and the Gulf oil catastrophe. No matter 
matter where you live, wildfires, earthquakes, floods, and storms must be escaped. Don't be like a deer frozen in the headlights of oncoming disaster. At least prepare yourself with this two-week evacuation pack from eFoodsDirect.com. Call 800-409-5633 on the web, eFoodsDirect.com slash Alex. The question is, where should the American people draw their line in the sand? What have we got? A republic or a monarchy? A republic is based on a constitution which protects minority rights. It's not democracy, not mob rule, two wolves and a sheep voting on what's for dinner. So they think they own our land, they think they own our water, children, our education, our money. We have to define who we are and what we will tolerate. Somebody's going to ask you what you did during the Patriot Uprising. You have been warned. We have the facts. We have the Constitution. We have the Bill of Rights. We have common law. Knowledge is power, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm so excited to be able to offer you, don't tread on me, rise of the Republic. Tyranny is upon us, but liberty and the sleeping giant that is the American people is rising. A new tool in the info war. Don't tread on me. Order it at InfoWars.com or PrisonPlanet.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139 and support independent, patriotic Liberty Films. This is Alex Jones with five good reasons you should consider buying a solar power generator. Number one, new climate legislation could easily double or triple your electric bill. Number two, our new energy czar wants to control how much power your electric company allows you to have. It's true. Total government control of electricity in the name of smart grid technology is coming. Number three, in some areas of the country, the power grid is dangerously overloaded. And now new socialist legislation is only compounding the problem. Number four, dangerous weather is always a threat to local grids. Every year, thousands of families lose their power from weather-related outages. Number five, a solar power generator provides powerful backup insurance and peace of mind. Folks, I really believe in the solar power generators offered by Solutions from Science, one of my oldest sponsors. You can get more information at www.mysolarbackup.com. That's mysolarbackup.com. Remember, the government doesn't own the sun, so go to mysolarbackup.com or call 1-877-327-0365. Big Brother, mainstream media, government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. We are now into our number three of the syndicated radio transmission on screen at PrisonPlanet.tv for PrisonPlanet.tv viewers wish to not just listen but actually watch incoming BP CEO thinks but can't guarantee oil flow has ended now since they reportedly capped it two weeks ago there's oil in a two mile area coming out of all these other fissures clearly it cracked down beneath the surface in the 80 plus days of it leaking uh, and it is now uh, still leaking and, and, and remember three separate times before that they had said that they had capped it, and then a week or two later admitted that it wasn't capped. In some cases, just a few days later, they would admit it hadn't been capped. He says, I think no guarantees, but I believe there will be no more oil flowing into the Gulf. As of the 15th of July, uh, Dudley told CNN's America Morning. That's when they think they capped it was a few weeks ago. This is a new interview he did last night. No anomalies or breaches have been detected at the well, and pressure is rising slowly, indicating that it is structurally sound and has integrity, BP said Wednesday. So I hope that is the case, but all the other reports are there's all these fissures everywhere leaking, and they say, oh, well, that's another oil well. Then, uh, many, many miles away, a barge hit another oil well and has caused a big leak. All of that information is up on InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. One other big announcement. This wasn't really a surprise. Federal judge blocks part of Arizona immigration law, says they can't ask you if you're an illegal alien. Of course, if you're a citizen, they can ask for your papers and ask you where you're going and try to demand to search your vehicle, which violates the Bill of Rights. But if you're an illegal alien, you're talking to a, a god, and you can't ask them. Federal judge blocks part of Arizona immigration law. This is a lawless government that selectively enforces unconstitutional laws against the people, but leaves the illegal aliens alone because they want that voting block and they want to drive down the wages. This is NAFTA and GATT. This is globalization. It's further destroyed Mexico and is destroying this country. 
Al Gore told you it was a great deal. He told Larry King, this is a great deal, Larry. We have a clip of that in my film, uh, Fall of the Republic. You know it to be a fraud. All right. For the balance of the hour, I'm going to talk to military. Well, first, let me finish these two calls that are ahead of Scott, Chris, and others. But as we let callers go, that's a chance for military and police to call in and talk about what's confirmed. Military being dispatched all over the country to run checkpoints against the citizens. They call them crime checkpoints, drug checkpoints, drunk driving checkpoints. It's all illegal. At the threat fusion centers, the military is being trained to confiscate guns to take on the American people for riot control. And I've got some key intel on this we're going to be covering uh, coming up. But right now, let's finish up quickly with Daryl and George, then on to Scott, Chris, and others. The toll-free number for military and police to call in who disagree with me, who agree, who have concerns, who uh, are, are commanders, uh, people have called in, uh, folks that are tr uh, training these people. The American people can read this in the news now, but it's being spun as if it's good. It's important to actually hear from the people involved in it how real this is.